Our next speaker is the Honorable uh, John Wellinghoff, who was appointed chairman at the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission in March of this year by President Obama. He has served on the commission since 2006, and, and he is a, an acknowledged energy law specialist with uh, more than 30 years of experience in that field. Uh, earlier in his career, he, he did some precedent work, and he developed the first comprehensive uh, state utility integrated resource planning statute. And for the utility people in the room, uh, they know how integrated resource planning has uh, permeated almost every state's planning process where they're regulated. And uh, he was basically the uh, genesis of that concept and set the precedent for the template that's been used. So please join me in welcoming uh, Chairman Wellinghoff to your first Nuclear Energy Assembly, and we hope you'll be back again. Thank you, Thank you Marv, and I uh, appreciate very much the NII, NEI inviting me to the NEA. Uh, it's good to be here, actually. Let me um, talk a little bit about uh, my uh, beginning at the Commission in August of 2006, and when I began at the Commission, my uh, focus at the time. And then from that, I'll transition into uh, my focus as Chairman of the Commission. 2006, when I started the Commission, and you heard some of my background, I was in private practice for a number of years. I was also <clears throat> the state consumer advocate in the state of Nevada for uh, seven years. I was a deputy district attorney for a while, and I also did a lot of work with private clients, including uh, some of the largest end users in Nevada, um, which was the MGM Mirage, a very big client, and also some of the largest uh, utilities in the country, such as Southern California Edison was one of my clients at one time. So I've had a diverse background in the energy field and have a real concern for ensuring that our nation's energy future is secure, is reliable, and is efficient. So when I started the Commission in August of 2006, my priorities were first, efficiency. Efficiency of systems, of delivering energy, both on the electric side and the natural gas side, under the FERC jurisdiction, in an efficient manner, so the costs for consumers can be stabilized. Secondly, ensuring that markets were efficient as well, so that again, costs for consumers can be stabilized, but also that we can ensure that delivery of energy services is reliable. With respect to those two things, looking at markets and looking at efficiency, I started to look at how to make markets more efficient. One of those ways, as it turns out, is to increase participation in the markets, both on the supply and the demand side. And looking on the demand side, there was some that had been done by the Commission prior to my coming there, some that had been done by some of the organized wholesale markets, where I'm sure a number of your clients and a number of your companies participate. But I thought more could be done specifically increasing the amount of demand response in those markets, increasing the amount of energy efficiency in those markets, and increasing the opportunity for the demand side to participate. And I'll share with you in a moment how some of that has played out over the time. In addition, however, to increasing the demand side of the markets to make those markets operate more efficiently, I also believe it was necessary to increase supply alternatives, to diversify our supply. And by diversifying that and increasing supply alternatives, again, provide for the opportunity for those markets to operate more efficiently. As it turns out, one of the areas of supply that is most readily able to be able to be put into these markets on a near-term basis quickly are renewables, ultimately. So I wanted to ensure that renewables were treated in a way that they could provide for equal access to the markets and allow for, again, markets costs to be reduced by diversifying that supply through integrating renewables in 
as much as possible. So over a period of time uh, since 2006, when I came to the commission, we've issued a number of orders, my fellow commissioners and I, and I'd have to, have to say, uh, fortunately, most of these have been unanimous, that has, in fact, increased the ability of the demand side to participate in those markets, demand response, energy efficiency, has ensured that the demand side is treated on a comparable basis to the supply side, which we think is important so that it's, they're not discriminated against. In fact, they can have equal participatory access and ultimately work in a way in concert with the supply side. On the supply side, we've also issued a number of orders that have had the effect of allowing diversified supplies to come into the market on a, on a near and real-time basis to, again, provide for more competition in those markets. Uh, one of the orders we issued was in the Tehachapi decision in California, which had the effect of allowing for uh, development of uh, significant wind resources in that area that wouldn't have otherwise been able to finance transmission without the particular structure that FERC allowed to go into, into place to finance that particular project. So again, my goal at the Commission when I started in 2006 is to improve efficiency of markets, to diversify those markets with increases on the demand side, increases on the supply side, and to ensure that consumers' costs are just and reasonable, and that rates are stabilized, and that ultimately we have a reliable, secure electric supply. Now let me share with you some information that I just received that is a result of the capacity market auctions in PGM. PGM is the regional transmission operator in the mid-Atlantic states. It operates the transmission system from New Jersey, uh, Delaware, Maryland, Virginia, that part of the East Coast on out to um, actually Chicago, that central mid-Atlantic area. And they just had an auction for their 2012-2013 uh, period. And that auction, I think, produced some remarkable and astounding results that shows me that these markets are starting to work efficiently and we're starting to see an increase of moving in the demand side and increasing diversification on the supply side in ways that are going to make these markets function effectively for consumers. First statistic I can give you is that demand response was bid into the market at an unprecedented rate. Demand response was bid into the market uh, at a level of 9,800 megawatts of demand response was bid in. Of that 9,800 megawatts, ultimately uh, 7,600 megawatts of demand response uh, cleared the market. So tremendous amount of demand response was put into that market. And that, that amount of demand response actually was uh, an increase of almost 8,000 megawatts of demand response was bid into the previous market last year. So we're seeing an unprecedented increase in the amount of entities, new providers, and these are in part utilities who are aggregating demand response. These are in part uh, large companies, manufacturers, uh, commercial entities like Walmart and others who are understanding that there's ways to control their loads. And in controlling those loads, they in fact can bid in demand response into the market and receive payments to do this. We're seeing it in levels that I never expected, and I know that if someone had proposed it just two or three years ago, I'm sure you would have claimed that that person was crazy. Well, ultimately, we're seeing that happen in ways that, again, I never, never contemplated. We're also seeing uh, energy efficiency bid into the market for the first time uh, by uh, providers, and we had over 600 megawatts offered and uh, 568 megawatts of energy efficiency cleared in those markets. So we're seeing a tremendous increase on the demand side in the markets in PGM, and I expect this to spread. Um, the other, only other market right now that allows energy efficiency to